Hello everyone, so this morning we're going to discuss another new topic which is the gene therapy. The last technology that will be tackled in this uh, subject is the gene technology. So in the previous lesson, we have discussed the nano world that contains atoms and molecules that was introduced. At this time, we will focus on the development in the nano world what as applied to the animate or the living. So when identifying the contributions of technology to biology, the first place to look would be the field of human health. The whole vast of concerns of human health, including aging, disease, treatment and prevention, diet, and general lifestyle have greatly benefited from the technology. Now, at the end of this lesson, it is expected that uh, we can describe the gene therapy and its various forms and address the issues, potential benefits, and detriments to global health. Medicine is one example of scientific and technological innovation that made a breakthrough in the human health before the aspirin was uh, ever understood at the nano level it had been known for its effects the pain barrier of various forms of could be relieved and softened by the by this medicine the aspirin was already old technology at the beginning of 21st century so the more findings in the areas of nano and gene science can be incorporated to medicine so medical science has detected many humans diseases related to defective genes it was in 2015 a team of researchers in the Harvard Medical School in the Boston Children's Hospital stated that they were able to restore the basic hearing of genetically deaf mice using this gene therapy so what is gene therapy gene therapy is a potential to either treat or cure genetic related human illness so human gene therapy was actually first realized in 1971 when the first recombinant DNA experiments were planned it can be simply viewed as insertion of foreign DNA into a patient's tissue that hope to successfully eradicate the targeted disease so it was actually inspired by the success of recombinant DNA technology which occurred over the 20 years without a doubt gene therapy is the most promising yet possibly unfavorable medical field being studied the basic process, uh, there are several approaches to gene therapy. These are the following according to Pleisfleur in 2017. First is replacement of mutated gene that causes disease with a healthy copy of gene. Inactivation of mutated gene that is func functioning improperly. Introduction of new gene into the body to help fight disease in general a gene cannot be directly inserted into human gene or cell a gene is inserted into another gene using a carrier or vector at present the most common type of vectors are viruses that they have been genetically changed to carry normal human DNA Viruses have evolved a way of encapsulating and transporting their genes to human cells in a pathogenic manner. That is according to the report of Science Daily in 2017. Now, there are two types of gene therapy. First is the somatic gene therapy and the germline gene therapy. So, idea of 
The idea of gene therapy is based on correcting a disease at its root, fixing the abnormal genes that appear to lead to certain disease. So this per somatic gene therapy, somatic gene therapy involves the manipulations of genes in cells that will be helpful to the patient but not inherited to the next generation. So that is according to Nim Sir Jim in 1988. While this other form, the germline at other type, the germline gene therapy involves genetic modification of cells or the origin cells that will pass the chains on to the next generation. So that's according to Ge Genome 2017. We also have the so-called stem cell gene therapy. Stem cells are mother cells that have the potential to become any type of cell in the body. One of the main characteristics of the stem cells is their ability to re self renew or multiply while maintaining the potential to develop into types of cells. Stem cells can become cells of the blood, heart, bones, skin, muscles, brain, and among others. There are different sources of stem cells, but all types of stem cells have the same capacity to develop and multiply types of cells. Stem cells are derived from different sources, two of which are embryonic and the somatic stem cells. Now what is the embryonic stem cells? These are derived from a four or five day old human embryo that is in the blastocyst phase of development. The embryos are usually extras that have been created in IBP or the in vitro fertilization clinics which where several eggs are uh, fertilized in the test tube then implant into the woman. While the somatic stem cells are cells that exist throughout the body after embryonic development and are found inside the different types of tissue. These stem cells have been found in tissue such as the brain, bone marrow, blood, blood vessels, skeletal muscles, skin. These stem cells can divide and self-renew indefinitely enabling them to generate a range of cell type from originating organ or even regenerate the entire original organ. It is generally thought that adult or somatic stem cells are limited in their ability to differentiate based on their tissue or origin, but there is one evidence that suggests that they can differentiate to become other cells type. That is according to Crosta in 2013. We also have this bioethics of gene therapy. These are ethical issues involved in gene therapy. Some of the inquiries cited are uh, these six different question which was published in uh, genetics home reference for in 2017 the first question is how can good and bad uses of uh, gene therapy be distinguished who decides which traits are normal and which constitute a disability or disorder will the high cost of gene therapy make it available only to the wealthy? Could a widespread of gene therapy make society less accepting of people who are different? Should people be allowed to use gene therapy to enhance basic human traits such as height, intelligence, or even athletic ability? So another controversy involves in the germline therapy. 
As we discussed a while ago, the germline therapy is genetic modification of germ cells that will pass the chains to the next generations. There are a lot of questions on the effects of the gene alteration to the unborn child and to the next generation since the alteration can be passed on. So in United States, some government does not found researches on human germline therapy. Really, there are many different ethical issues when it comes to gene therapy. Some of these issues are about questions on what authority or power to decide which human traits should be altered other concerns are dis the discriminatory effect of those who may or cannot avail the gene therapy. The financial cost of this gene therapy is trivial. Each of the steps mentioned requires expertise and technological skills. So definitely, I therefore gene therapy can be costly so do you like to be treated using gene technology so that's all for this lesson it's up to you if you're going to use the gene technology if you can afford it and the, the doctor told you that that is the best way to solve the existing disease that your family or any or member of your family suffering uh, from that disease you may go on especially if you can afford it we have to save lives to whatever extent it may cost no? that is how we survive in this uh, world the survival of the fetus okay so thank you so much and god bless you all